Today, I'm going to show you how Cisco Duo integrate with Linux Ubuntu using username and password to authenticate. Before you begin, do check out the official document at https www.duo.com slash docs slash duo unix You have seen my demo video on integrating Cisco Duo with Office 365, a Windows Jump Host, and Meraki MX Client VPN. If you have not done that, you can go and check it out. Now, in this video, I'm going to show you how to integrate Cisco Duo with the Linux server Ubuntu. It will be different from the SendOS video on the Duo website. At the same time, I will also show some simple troubleshooting in case you hit into some challenges. So first, we're going to connect to the Ubuntu server in Azure. And yes, we are in version 18.04.4. By default, the root account is disabled if you use Ubuntu in Azure. To run any administrator's command, use sudo before the command. I will show you how easy it is to follow the Duo guide. Remember to look through the documentation first. There is a walkthrough video on how to configure SanOS. So the first step that you need to do of course is to sign up for a Duo account. I've already gotten a Duo account so I'm going to skip this. Download the Duo Unix latest package to perform the integration. Issue the following command wget https colon slash slash dl dot duo security dot com slash followed by the package. Never share any of your secret key. We'll be installing some additional Linux packages. First, let's install the OpenSSL library. Here is the command to install that in Ubuntu. Copy that and paste it into the Ubuntu server. Do not forget to include sudo in front of the command. Next, we'll be installing the PAM library. This is the command to install that on Ubuntu. Before we install the PAM library, let's do a system update. Enter the command sudo app get update. This will help to make sure that all the required libraries are installed. Now let's execute the command sudo app get install library pam dash dev. Select yes to install the packages. Let's check out the rest of the documentation while it's installing. As you can see, for different Linuxes, there are additional packages that you need to install. For example, SE Linux for SanOS 7 and Red Hat. And if you are using SUSE or SLES, you need the ZEC library as well. You will need to install the GCC compiler uh, as well to make sure that we can build and compile the dual package. While the installation is being done, let's check out how do we install the GCC compiler. Instead of just installing the GCC compiler, I'm going to install all the essential build packages for the compilers. Enter the command sudo app install build essential to install the GCC compiler and any dependencies. While it is installing, 
let's check out what other configuration do we need to do. Unzip the tar file with the following command tar zxf dual underscore unix dash latest dot tar dot gz. Check the file has been unzipped and go to the dual dash unix folder. Then issue the command to build and install the package with the following command. You'll see some warning along the way. For the demo, we are not going to review the warning. However, for production, you might want to understand what are these warnings. Next, edit the slash etc slash dual pem underscore dual dot config file. You can edit this with any text editor such as Nano or VI. I'm using VI for this demo. The key part to take note is to copy the integration key, the secret key, and the API host from your dual admin panel. Go to applications in your dual admin panel. On the search bar, type in Unix and select the Unix application. Copy the integration key and enter into the configuration file. Do this for the rest of the secret key and API host. To use push notification as the default MFA method, add auto push is equal to yes to the configuration. Once you have entered the rest of the secret key and API host, Remember to save the file and quit from the text editor. Next, go to the PAM configuration on the dual documentation. Here, you can find the various Linux flavors and the steps to configure them. Select Ubuntu version 18.04. Configure the slash etc slash pam.d sshd file. Copy the command and paste it onto the server. Do not forget to add sudo into the front part of the command. Comment out the add include common of statement with a hex in front. And insert the following three statements. Of success equal one, default equal ignore, pam underscore duo dot so. Two of requisite pam underscore deny dot so. Three of require pam underscore permit dot so. Save and exit. Next, we'll edit the system wide authentication in the following file slash etc slash pam dot d slash common off. Make the following changes. Comment out the following statement of success is equal one, default equal ignore pamunix.so now log secure and add in the following two statements one of requisite pan underscore unix.so now log secure two of success equal one default equal ignore pam underscore duo.so you can copy it from the documentation itself and paste it into the config as usual do not forget to save and then exit. We have completed the configuration at this stage. Now, if you have read through the documentation thoroughly, you have noticed that we have missed out one important step. Now, where's the learning without some troubleshooting? Let's start by looking at the off.log files in real time. Important, never close the original SSH session without first making sure that the new configuration works. You'll see that my first attempts failed. Let's look at the logs. The initial analysis shows that the authentication failed with wrong password.
But looking deeper into the logs, we see that there's an error saying ham adding 40 module. Now, if we look further up the logs, we see that we couldn't find the following folder and the file pam underscore duo.so. If you recall earlier in the demo, I highlighted this in the pam configuration section to be aware of this. It is a simple issue to fix. Let's look for the file pam underscore duo.so. You can follow the command in the screen below. There's various ways to use the find command. This is the one that I like to use usually, uh, grabbing the exact word so that I filter off all the unnecessary files. Default location of the file is here. Let's check to see if the folder slash library slash security is there in the system. It seems that for this brand new Ubuntu server, the folder has not been created yet. Let's try and do some more manual checks. Let's go to the library folder and see if the security folder is in it. it seems that it's not there. If it's not, let's create one. Command will be sudo mkdir security and make sure you do it in the library folder. Quickly check if it has been created. There it is. Transfers to the security folder. And issue the command to copy the pam underscore dual dot so file from the default location to slash library slash security. Do not forget about sudo. If not, you have to redo it again like I am doing now. Confirm the file is in the library slash security folder. Let's monitor the off.log again. There's still an error. We've done all the configuration. What could be the problem? A bottled dual login. This is like a dual authentication issue. If you have read the user and Roman guide before, you will know what is the problem about. The problem is simple. The user have not been created in dual. If you are seeing this, it means that you are following the setup. If you want me to create a video on enrollment, like my video and leave a comment for me. Well, the good thing for Duo is it is very easy to set up and troubleshoot. Now, let me show you how this can be resolved. I'm going to show you one of the many ways to add and enroll the user. Choose the best way based on your company policies, environment, and the one with the least friction. For this demo, I'm going to add the user Cyber Draco demo into Duo. You can see that once I've done that, user is added successfully. The other part that I want to show you is how do you quickly add a phone number for this user. But for an administrator, it's much easier. Just add the phone of the administrator here. Key in the mobile number together with the country code. And then click on add phone. Okay, this is my demo phone number and as you can see I have already a few demo accounts associated with different username and in a production environment 
uh, administrator with the same phone number could have multiple accounts, right? Of course, for your normal remote workers, that shouldn't be the case. Now, what I'm going to do is to generate a dual mobile authentication code here so that a enrollment message will be sent to the phone number of the administrator. You can send both the instruction prompt to install the Duo mobile app and the activation link through SMS. You can also send this through emails and other means, but for this tutorial, I'm going to show you through SMS. Open up the SMS and click on the activation link. Since I have the Duo mobile app already installed, I'll be prompted if I want to open this page. Click on open and you'll see that the device is being registered. Now let's try to log in again. After keying the username and password, you'll see that I get a prompt on my mobile app. Now all I need to do is approve. I'm logging to my Ubuntu server with my administrator, username and password protected by dual MFA through push notification. It is that simple to just add another layer of security without adding too much additional friction to the users or the administrators. As cyber crimes are increasing in current landscape, let's do our part to safeguard and protect our critical resources and assets and make it a little bit harder for someone to try and compromise and steal the hard-earned money that you have made and protect the business that you have so painstakingly built up.